me and you can't follow their gods. We have to follow what our God says. And our God says a woman and a man cannot cross dress for their abomination. Feminist movement has been pushed by Amelia Bloomer, a white woman. Mr. G, how you doing? My name's Ata. I'm looking at your shirt. Your shirt says black, being black is a blessing. What does that mean for you? It means just what it says. Like what does that mean? Like being black is a blessing. My race is not a curse. All right, your race is not a curse. I agree. Now, is black a race? Yes. Huh? Yes. No, it is not. That is the color of your pants and your shirt. What land of black do you know of? Where can we go to go to the land of black since you say black is a race? I can't take it. That is because it's not a race. It's just a color. It is a, now, we use that to identify people with melanin, you know, they got melanated skin, right? But that doesn't mean that's their race. So then the question is, what is your race? Or what, or what does that mean for you? Being black is a blessing. Because in the, now, do you believe in God? Do you believe in God? So how do we become blessed with God? Ask that question again. How do we become blessed with God? Because we say, you sure say worship, being black worship, is a blessing. How do we, him. worshiping him, how do you worship God? In spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. What does that mean? The truth as I know it to be, and it's only my God. Okay, so how do you worship him in spirit and truth? You're right, there's one God. How do you worship him in spirit and in truth? Pray unto, unto God. If you're praying to him, you're worshiping him is what you're saying. Uh -huh. Do you have to do anything else? Meditate on him. Read the word of God. But what I know to be the word of God. Okay. Now I'm a, now you're saying a bunch of things. And I'm going to read it out of the Bible to give you to make sure you have that answer. Okay, to make it clear for somebody like me next time. All right. Give me Revelations 1 and 3. Yes, sir. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3 yeah. Blessed is he that readeth So the Bible says blessed is he that readeth So blessed are they Or those that read the Bible Read on And they that hear the words of this prophecy And those that hear the word of the Bible Like you said meditate on them Well you gotta hear the words of the Bible But there's a very big important step Watch this So you read it You meditate on the words of the Bible Let's see what else Read And keep those things which are written therein keep those things that are written therein so if the bible says not to break the sabbath or for a man i can't shave my beard off am i blessed if i don't do what i just read is that the case or do i have to do what god said for me to be blessed i would have to do what he said right yes give me deuteronomy 22 and 5 watch this all praise to the most high now so now we understand how we get blessed with God. So the way we get blessed with God, we got to read the Bible. We got to meditate on what he's telling us to do and then do it. All right? Watch this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So that just said that 
A man and a woman cannot dress alike. I cannot wear women's clothing or I am an abomination to God. If I was dressed like a woman, what would I have on? I don't know. Miss Regina. Have on. So what now? What would you have on if you dressed like if a woman? If I dressed like, if I was standing here dressed like a, a woman. Skirt? A skirt. So if a woman is dressed like a man, what would she have on? Men's if, pants. Now, no. You said men's pants. Is it a such thing as a men's skirt? Yes. Is that a real thing? Like, yes. is it really a men's skirt or is it just a skirt? It's just a skirt, sis. So, no. so now, so you believe that now? How? If you, I'm not going to ask you how old no, you it's are. Different nationality that wear different type clothing. But you're an Israelite. You're a Jew. And, and you're, you're, that, you're an Israelite. You're a Jew. So you have a heritage that God gave you, like He gave me. Okay. So and the one, the Bible, the God of the Bible, is like you said, the one true God, right? Yeah. So all these other nations got these false gods. They can follow their false gods. All they want, but me and you can't follow their gods. We have to follow what our God says. And our God says a woman and a man cannot cross dress or they're an abomination. Okay. So whenever you go to a bathroom, you see on the bathroom door, you see a man with pants and a woman with the what? Which bathroom do you go in? So then how should women dress? Because of not before the 1940s or the 50s, women weren't even allowed to wear pants so the fact that women wear pants today that is because the feminist movement has been pushed by amelia bloomer a white woman that says you know what i need the black woman to come fight with me because i want to be equal but ain't the black woman still in the white woman still in subjection to her man yes she is but why isn't the black woman still in subjection to her man and her god you know why? It is because what color was Eve? Dark. She was a black woman just like you. Yeah. The same spirit Eve had then is the same spirit our women have now. They want to be equal or above their man. That's why the phrase, the man wears the pants in the house. That is true. The problem is the women now want to wear the pants with him. I don't. Now. Now, now you're wearing pants now. Yeah, and I'm going to wear my pants. So what should you do according to the Bible, though? I'm going to wear my pants. But what did God say? You said that you. Now remember, you said being blessed. You said being blessed. I'm going to wear my pants. Yeah, but does that mean? So then, does that mean that you're blessed by God? Yes, I'm so blessed. You're sure? Yes, I'm positive. Now, can Satan bless people? No. All right, let's get that in uh, Matthew four. Because our people say that uh, that they're blessed Satan. and highly favored by God. Satan, no, blessing. no, sis. Our, our people that go against God are not being blessed by God. God is not Stop. blessing sinners. He's blessing people that when they... Sis, sis, do you go to church? You go to church. What day do you go to church on? And at this point, I'm going to walk to church. What day do you go to church on? Now, our people don't want to hear the Bible. Let's read who people get blessed by when they don't follow God. Give me that in chapter 4, verse... Uh, yeah, let's, let's read 1. We'll start with Christ. Because Satan tempted Christ to try to so-called bless him. Read. Matthew chapter 4, verse 1. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. So here comes the devil to tempt Christ. Here comes the devil to tempt Christ. Read on. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, uh -huh. he was afterward in hunger. So Christ fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and he was hungry. And here comes the, the devil to tempt him. Read. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. So he tempted Christ. Hey, look, if you the Son of God, Make these stones into food, into bread. Read. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, uh -huh. but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. But we should live by the bread in the Bible. And that's why we come out here to teach, to feed our people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, with the food of God, that's which right. is the Bible. But our people are not getting fed this in these Christian churches like across the street. Because if they were, our people wouldn't say the stuff they say or do the things they do. 
How in the world are you going to say being black is a blessing? You don't even know that that's not a race. Then once you once we clarify, you're cool with it. Okay, cool. Being blessed, I got to do what God said. That's what the Bible just said. Cool. Then we read along. I'm not going to listen to that. I'm going to do what I want to do because that's what I want to do. And then say, after we just read it and you confirm that the only way you get blessed by God is to do what he said. Read on. Verse 5. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a soul. So this right here, so now the devil is tempting Christ again. If you're the Son of Man, Jump off this building or jump off this tower and look and command the angels to save you since you're the son of since you the son of God. So he tipped in Christ again. Read. Verse 7. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. So our people tempt God. They walk around saying they're blessed and highly favored of God, but then when God gives them something to do, they won't do it and say they're still blessed. That is tempting God. Then that's what Christ is saying. Do not tempt God. Read. Verse 8. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain uh -huh. and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world uh -huh. and the glory of them and said unto him, All these things will I give thee. So then Satan the devil took Christ up again and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and said, Look, I will give you rulership over all these kingdoms. It was already promised that Christ is going to rule forever. What can Satan give him? He's tempting them. He's wanting him to take it now. That's our people. We want stuff right now instead of doing it the right way. When God already promised us rulership, we think we're going to get it going against God. We think we're going to get the riches of this world going against. Yeah, you can get the riches of this world going against God. Right. But you won't get the riches of the kingdom going against God. That right. means you're going to die here when them bombs hit. Read on. If thou will fall down and worship me. But if he said, Christ, if you fall down and worship me, that's what Satan said to Jesus. If you worship Satan, meaning you don't do what the Father sent you to do. You go against his commandments and follow Satan, follow the devil. He will give you rulership. So that means he got the power to bless. Watch this. He going to tell you that he do. Read. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Read. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. And that's exactly what happened. So then Satan has the power to give people rulership and riches of this world. That's right. And I will people think that that is a blessing from God. No, you're being blessed by Satan. Right. That's Problem right. is you think Satan, is, matter of fact, Satan is your God. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. How you doing my brother right here so we had a sister come up she said being black is a blessing then i asked her is she black according to her race are you black according to your race would you say that would be a race okay you're a human being what's your race because there's there's races of humans on the earth you say it don't matter no, I'm worried about your race, your nationality. Because God does. Because God said it is. You said God is a spirit. Watch this right here. Give me the uh, Exodus 15 and 3. You said God is a spirit. Okay. Okay. God is a spirit. Let's see. 
watch this. Let's see what God also is. Because our people want to say and everybody want to get get free things. No one wants to hear what God says. Read this. Exodus chapter 15 verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. It said God is a man of war. A man of war. But our people say, oh, God is just a spirit. Unbelievable. If he was just a spirit just floating around and have no shape, no nothing, then who do we look like then? Because it said we was made in his image. Who do we look like? Our people are bugged out and say, why does it matter what race we are? Why does it matter what color we are? Because God said so. Because he's not saving everybody. God is only saving you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that do and have faith in his son, Jesus Christ, and do what he said. If you don't do what he said, you're going to not be saved. You're going to miss out on the kingdom that you think you know about. All because of your pride. All because you won't say and be honest with yourself. You know what? I do not know God. Until y'all can do that, there's no way you're going to humble down and actually let someone teach you what God says. We're reading out of the Bible. We're not making this stuff up. Right. Where are you at? Exodus 15 and 3. Read it again. Exodus chapter 15 verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. It said the Lord is a man of war. Is that it? Read on. The Lord is his name. The Lord is his name. Give me that in Corinthians. Uh, what is it for? Turn down these strongholds. Because it said God is a man of war. God is a man of war. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 10, 4. God is a man of war, and we are his army. But we out here warring for your souls while the world is destroying it. We trying to save it. The problem is most of our people would rather not be saved. They think they already got the kingdom of heaven at the bottom of society, and you got the kingdom now. Our sisters out here don't want to do what God says, but they say they're blessed. You're not blessed if you're not doing what God says. Right. You're still cursed. So darn shame. We wear all these things across our chest and won't live up to what we say. Read. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So God did not send us out here with guns, tanks, and, 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 and big bombs. He didn't send us out here with that. He said our weapons are not carnal. Read on. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. But our weapons are still mighty through God. The point with the pulling down of strongholds, Christmas is a stronghold. Right. Not having confidence in who you are because you're the children of God. You're the Israelites. You're the real Jews. That is a stronghold that you don't know that about yourself. That's right. It's a stronghold that you don't understand what laws you must keep. It's a stronghold that you believe worshiping idols will get you into the kingdom of heaven. Right. That is a stronghold that must be torn down. And that's why we come out here to teach the Bible. Read. Casting down imaginations. We cast down imagination. It is an imaginable thing for you to think you're blessed when you don't do what God says. Right. That is that is very false. That is a fragment of your imagination. You're imagining falsehood. That's no. not true. Because right out of the mouth of God, which is the Bible, it says you're not blessed by him if you're not doing what he said. But you make it up in your own imagination, in your own mind, to say that you are when you're lying. And you get that from these false leaders in the community. Read on. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. And that's what we come out here to do, to destroy all the false things that rise up against the knowledge of God. You come up against this Bible, you better have, you ain't you ain't got a leg to stand on in from in front of us. It's not going to happen. That's why when our people come up here, bro, you see they come up here, they talk good, they sound good, and then when we start reading them like what the Bible says, they run. You know what? I'm going to leave. <laughs> That's what she said. But she was big and bold when she walked up. Because remember, she said that the man is over her. Right? She said that the man is over her. I don't know if he's dead or not. So the man is over her, right? But a man is trying to teach her. And I'm going to leave. So that would mean, no, you think you're equal to me or over me. 
because I can't even talk to you about the truth of the Bible. Even though you're ignorant about it, my job is to teach it to you. Test, test, test. Oh, the mic is dead. Oh, man. Should be some better. So, so, so she, so for her to say what she said, that would mean she's a lie. She's not really what her shirt says. What? She's not blessed at all. Not by God. She's blessed by the devil. That's right. And she's walking around in the spirit of the devil and will not humble down to what God says. Read that again. Casting down imagination and having high things that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. So that's why we come out here, bruh. We come out here to teach our people the truth, whether they like it or not. Right. It don't feel good to be told what you thought all your life was a lie. It doesn't feel good, but it should feel good after you understand, oh, wait a minute. Well, now I have an opportunity to get it right because I ain't dead yet. Problem is our people want to die in their sins instead of trying to get the right answer to fix themselves. That's right. To allow God to fix them. God ain't going to fix you if you're going to tell him I ain't going to keep your commandment. Sister, you must take off the pants. Nope, I'm going to keep my pants on. What's this? You're going to die in sin. That's okay. I'm still blessed anyway. Really? Come on up, bro. Start the bike. Come on up. Let me talk to you for a second, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Read. Uh, where you at? Read on. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And that's what we're doing. We're coming out here to bring in under subjection all the lies. We're trying to bring under subjection all the lies that our people have been taught so that you can be obedient to Christ. When you hear the truth, you'll recognize what's happening. That's right. But our people don't want that. We will prefer it to be a lie. Uh, yes, that's what I want. Read that. Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 1. Uh -huh. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesied against the prophets of Israel that prophesied. So God says for us to stand up and prophesy against the false prophets of Israel. That's our people. That is our men and you prophetesses that think you are a prophet too. Read. And say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Because what they're doing is prophesying out of their own hearts. Meaning whatever they make up, that's what they want to teach people and, and live and, and go by that. Then they'll say they believe in God. And then when you start reading the Bible, they'll say, well, why are you reading out the book? Wait a minute. What do you read about God in the book? <laughs> what do you read about what he said in the book? Where do you get the instruction in the book? But then when you start reading it and they realize what they said is all lies, now all of a sudden they're ready to go. They cannot stand on that false that false foundation that they had. That sand they were standing on washed right on the way. Why in the world won't they stand up there and get their foundation built now? Because they love evil. Read on. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God. Woe unto the foolish prophets. Woe unto the foolish prophets. Our people are following foolish prophets. God says destruction to them. Read. That follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. And they follow their own spirit. They say the spirit, the spirit of God. No, you're following your own spirit. Right. Because if you was following the spirit of God, you would do what he said. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong.